Welcome Aquarius to your weekly reading. This is for the 7th to the 14th of August. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. Aquarius, I'm going to start off by looking at the first row as the possible energy beginning the week. The second row is going to be the area that you should focus on. The third row is the unexpected energy coming in. Our fourth row is messages and advice from spirit. And finally, our last row is the possible outcome of the week. Aquarius, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. We're going to start off here with the Nine of Swords energy and we're looking at the possible energy beginning the week. So let's go ahead and get your clarifier. So we want to see now what the Nine of Swords energy is for Aquarius, please. What is this Nine of Swords energy? The Emperor. Aquarius, this is a very interesting energy. And I'm sure as we move on and read the rest of the week, we'll get further insight. What I'm seeing immediately is that for any of my Aquariuses who have been going through an incredibly stressful time, this is our Nine of Swords energy, you know, this could be sleepless nights, anxiousness, worrying, even depression. If any of you have been going through this energy, we are being told right up front that at the beginning of the week, something is going to happen, that you are going to do a complete turnabout and feel very strong and secure. Now, this is an incredible energy because it really shows me that there is going to be Something, my dear Aquarius says. Now, of course, this is going to be so different for everybody. Maybe you're waiting for an answer for a job. Maybe you've had an argument with your partner. Maybe you're just feeling incredibly worried about your finances. Please take it in an area where it might resonate. But what I'm seeing is something is happening that is going to do this complete turnabout and you are going to feel secure, safe, solid. Wonderful to see. Let's continue as I'm sure we'll get further insight as we go along. Now we want to see who or what the King of Swords energy is that is sitting in the area that you should focus on. So we want to see who or what is this King of Swords energy for Aquarius, please. The Empress. Okay, so you have the Emperor and the Empress. Very auspicious to see. Aquarius, you are being asked this week to work with King of Swords energy. It doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine, it's the energy of the card we are speaking about. So now you're being asked to be smart, logical, practical. King of Swords puts emotions to the side and he looks at things exactly as they are. He doesn't let things get out of hand, imagine things, imagine the worst, playing out scenarios in his head. He's very to the point and he understands that this is not a time to let emotion into the equation. You are being asked this week to focus on your blessings, my dear Aquariuses. You know, sometimes we get into our Nine of Swords energy and because things go dark for us, we can't see the light in our lives. Now, the Empress is all about abundance, creativity, fertility, her cornucopia flowing over. 
There are good things in your life. Stop for a minute and focus on that. This is where your King of Swords energy comes in. Because it's not easy when you're sitting in Nine of Swords energy to start focusing on all the good things. So this is why you really have to put those emotions to the side and maybe even take a journal, a pen and paper and just say, right, what's good in my life? And Aquarius, as soon as you start, I promise you, you start writing one thing down, then the second thing. And before you know it, you might even have four or five things. This week, focus on your blessings. Because when you focus on your blessings, you're going to shift energy. And when you shift energy, remarkable things are going to happen. As we saw, beautiful energy coming in. Now we want to see what the Two of Pentacles energy is that is sitting in your unexpected. So we want to see what is this Two of Pentacles energy coming in for Aquarius, please. The Wheel of Fortune. Wow, look at this. Aquarius, with this Two of Pentacles energy coming in, this week, if somebody invites you somewhere, if somebody offers you something, anything like that, it can be the smallest thing or the biggest thing, like a friend saying, Aquarius, meet me for a drink, or if your boss says, come with me to a meeting, it could be anything. And you are in two minds about it because you might be feeling a little off kilter. Two of Pentacles is, oh, I don't feel like it. I'm not in the right frame of mind. I think I would rather step back. I'm going to tell you, please don't. If there is anything that comes up, anything that, that sounds similar to what I have just mentioned, anything at all, say yes. Because what that does, it helps shift energy. Now, Aquarius, it could just be that you go out and there's great people there and you have a wonderful evening and a good laugh and you feel like a new person. It could be you say yes to that date and it could be the right person for you. Like I said, it could be the smallest or the biggest thing. Say yes, my dear Aquarius, because when you say yes, you shift energy. Wheel of Fortune speaks to us of a big change and a change in your favor. So, please say yes. Now we want to see what the Three of Pentacles energy is that is sitting in messages and advice from Spirit. So we want to see what is this Three of Pentacles energy for Aquarius. Okay, my dear Aquarius. Nine of Wands. I really appreciate when we get messages from Spirit that confirm what we have seen and spoken about. Spirit wants you to know that this Nine of Swords energy, this energy of feeling that you have to protect yourself, this energy of being so tired, so fatigued on your own, having to look over your shoulder all the time, this energy is ending. Something is happening this week, my dear Aquariuses, where you are going to open up to new people, new possibilities, and building something that I feel is going to go the distance. I feel it comes in with this change, and this is why we were told right up front that you're going from Nine of Swords to the Emperor. What a turnabout. You're going to be meeting People. These people could be people you already know. These could be new people. But these people are people you connect with, people you feel comfortable with. And I think these people are going to be around for a long time. Once again, 
it's going to come through in an area that's relevant to you. So we get a real deep and beautiful confirmation from spirit. Let's see who our King of Cups energy is that is sitting in the possible outcome of the week. So we want to see now who or what is this King of Cups energy for Aquarius, please. Strength. Okay. At the end of the week, you are presenting as the King of Cups. You presented as the King of Swords when you needed to address and manage our Nine of Swords energy. But by the end of the week, you are now harnessing King of Cups energy. Once again, it doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine. It's the energy of the card we are speaking about. And now we see that you are emotionally strong, emotionally solid. With the strength card coming out, I feel that you feel that you have overcome something incredible. And it's this energy here. You feel that you have really risen to the occasion and you have accomplished a lot. And I feel with our King of Cups energy coming out here, there's a certain growth that has come about, an emotional maturity that you have gained through this experience. What a great week, my dear Aquarius, because we really see you taking huge leaps forward in a very positive way. Let's go ahead now and see what your spirit animal is for this week. So we want to see now what is Aquarius's spirit animal this week, please. And you have got number two, antelope spirit. Life is speeding up. So your lucky number this week is number two. Any combination or variation of the number two, please consider a very auspicious sign. The antelope is your spirit animal. So wherever the antelope comes up, this two is a blessed sign. And your message is, life is speeding up. And Aquarius, things are going to move now. Things are going to happen for you. For my Aquariuses who were experiencing Nine of Swords energy in any way, I want you to know it's going to release and it's going to only get better. From what we have seen here, you've got so much to look forward to. So, that's all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I'm sending you all so much love.